Good morning. Welcome to our morning devotion. Glad you are tuned to the morning encounter. It is our prayer that you will encounter with God through this broadcast. And now, let's welcome the servant of God. Good morning viewers and praise the Lord. The Lord is good. This is the day the Lord has made that we rejoice and be glad in it. I'm happy and delighted to share with us the devotion this morning. Yesterday we began by sharing and looking at uh, running the race of faith. And because a race is compared to an athlete, I want us to look at um, what is the first step of running your race? You need to be on your mark. And so I want to share with us about on your mark, on your mark. And my scripture reference is from the book of First, uh, um, the First uh, Corinthians, chapter nine. Uh, the book of First Corinthians chapter 9. Just allow me to flip there for us. Um, verse 24. This is what the Bible says. Do you not know that in a race all the runners run, but only one gets the prize? Run in such a way to get the prize. First Corinthians chapter 9 verse 24. Let me stop there and look at that scripture. We go into the race. And they say, run to get the prize. To run and get the prize, you must know the beginning point on your mark. Those who go to the rest, they get to their mark. They are told to stand at the beginning line and they kneel down. I want to look at that to mean and to imply that God is calling us that when you want to run the rest of faith, then we must kneel before him. Then we must seek his face. Somebody has said that whoever kneels before God can stand before anyone. If God can allow all of us to be humble before him, if we can seek his face and humble ourselves before him, he can hear our prayer. He's asking us to kneel before him, to be humble before him, to seek his face, to know his sovereignty in the name of Jesus. So I want to encourage you this morning on your mark. Are you a person that knows your race? Do you begin your day with prayer? Like we are beginning with this devotion. Do you begin your day by looking at the word of God? Are you seeking his face, seeking his statue, seeking what is his will, inclining your mind to his mind? Do you, when you want to go and do your graduation and party, seek his race? Or do you do your things and ask what is God saying? I want to encourage you on your mark getting ready for the rest mark for you. It's a call to humble. It's a call to know where is my beginning. And by the way, what is our beginning point eh, of walk with God? God begins to walk with us the day we accept him as our personal savior. The day we really recognize that on our own we cannot make it and make a prayer of repentance. Do you go and do that solemnly, seriously, knowing that you are beginning a serious rest? If you are running, for example, uh, a sprint, a single second mess in your beginning point will really mess up your ending point. Yeah, because the difference between uh, the first runner in a hundred meters is just like microseconds. So God wants us to be very careful how we run our race and how we begin our race on your mark. God is asking you to know where is your beginning point, where is your, um, uh, uh, your, your starting point of everything. You want to get married. Are you a person that is seeking that I want to go and I'm a Christian. I want to go to church. I want to be prayed for fast. You know, there are people that just cohabit and they just come to inform pastor or sometimes people disappear. At one point you come back and you realize they are carrying a baby. I want to encourage you, my brother and my sister. You are listening to us this morning and you are desiring to walk with God. Be on your mark because of the rest mark for you. You are beginning a job. Set your mind to know that you are a Christian. Tell people that I am a Christian. I cannot engage in this. If there are going to be certain things that are going against my belief, then I'm not there. Know where is your beginning point. For many of us, also sometimes by reasons maybe known to you, you want to get in a relationship and you want to hide your identity or sometimes you think that well, that is wrong. God is asking you to know your mark, to know your beginning point. That is, you run the rest that is marked for you to win. May you know your beginning point. 
And I pray that even as you go into the day, you know what you is your target. You are beginning from this point. I'm saving 200 shillings so that by the end of 52 weeks, I will have saved a certain amount of money. You must know the beginning point. You must know where your rest is marked to begin. Where is your boundary of the rest that is marked so that you don't enter in somebody's territory, so that you don't enter in somebody's um, uh, uh, land or whichever thing that is not uh, of you. And so I want to pray with you this morning as you get into the day that you may understand where is your rest that is marked for you. You want to be a professor. You must be able to know to become a professor. You must have a degree, a master's, and you should be able to go and sit for four years. You must know the rest that is marked for you. May you understand your mark this day as you begin and be on your mark, on your knee, in prayer, in preparation, and the Lord will bless you. Shall we pray? Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for our viewers. I pray that you bless them in their coming in, in their going out, oh God. They may know they need to be on their knee, their preparation stage. They may serve you. They may walk with you. They may desire your things, oh God, that they may not cut their own ways, but they may know that the rest that is marked for us is fast on their knees. We worship you and we bless your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. That was the morning encounter. We are glad that you tuned in. Follow us on YouTube at Sidim Eldoran TV. Our Facebook page is Sidim Eldoran. Our Twitter and Instagram handles at Sidim Eldoran. And our website is eldoran.sidim.org. Let's encounter again tomorrow morning, same time, same place.